And I suppose my first question is, I mean, there are so many reasons, but what drew you to the film? I mean, there's Alan Bennett, <laughs> Richard Eyre, the director, the NHS, like was it a combination or was there something in particular that really made you think, yes, I want to do this? For me, it was it was a combination of all those things. I've never done anything for Alan, though I've known him, uh, and, but I, and I have admired him enormously. But I've never actually worked on a play or a screenplay of his. Uh, and Richard, of course, I've known for a long, long time, being uh, involved with the National, and we've done several films together. So it's lovely if you have that shorthand too with people, that um, you know that you sometimes don't have to do a great explanation because you under you know you understand them so well that there is that shorthand that's lovely and then of course working with friends of mine like David um and um Julia McKenzie and Derek Jacoby and you know lots of friends and Jennifer um lots of friends um uh, who you get the opportunity of sharing a day with or maybe uh, several weeks with you know mm. luxury and, and was it a, similar for you, David? Yes, it is, all, all of those things. And uh, some people I had worked with and some I hadn't, well, like Judy, I've never, we, we've known each other on and off socially for many years, but never worked together. So a combination of friends and people you have a great admiration for. And uh, I had worked with Richard before and as Judy said, when you've worked with someone and you, you, you get on with them and you respect their way of working and their attitude towards uh, the work and the cast and, and Richard is all, all everything you'd wish for in a director and it just, it, it, it is uh, a shorthand that you fall into and, and you, 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 it's just so much more fun and easier when you're working with someone like that. And as I say, you know, I, I was in a ward and just a room full of friends. And uh, it was just it was just a great atmosphere and a great experience from start mm. to finish. I wanted to touch on something you just mentioned and I think I'd also read. Apparently you both first met each other 60 years ago in an yeah. Amdram group. I wonder, do you remember what you thought of each other then? Well, Ju when Judy was already established, when I was in a group with uh, Judy's parents, her dad was one of the actors and her mum, Olive, was the wardrobe mistress. And um, we were surprised in the dressing room one night just before the, well, it was the opening night of a play we were doing and uh, Judy just popped her head around the door and wished us all good luck. And it was like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember that, Judy? I, well, I do remember it. And what I also remember, but David doesn't remember, we, the, the, the York cycle of miracle plays were done uh, uh, for three, three years they were done. And I was in them three years and David was in it. And he said, we've never worked. In actual fact, we have worked. We were in the first one together. And David was, it was in St. Mary's Abbey in York. Yes. And you were down on the ground. and But I was up in heaven, David. <laughs> no. Maybe you just never looked up. You never looked up. <laughs> I was waving to you all the time. You never noticed. But we did. We worked in, in, to get, in together. The very I first must have been looking at hell. That's it. Well, weren't we? Well, well <laughs> but of course, I you did them in. Well, I did them in 1960 with 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 Reg when he played. He, your, he played Anas the High Priest, Daddy. Oh well, that must have been the one you did before. Uh, and the one, <laughs> the one we did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting my corner here, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> 